Scientifically speaking, do you need your pinky toe? Well, according to one Harvard researcher, no. Um, according to Dr. Ann Holly Johnson, instructor of orthopedic surgery at Harvard Medical School, she said if you were born without a pinky toe or if you lost it in an accident, you're not really going to see a change at all in your quality of life, able to run, walk, skip, jump, whatever. Um, it's just something we don't really need. So people have said before, well, you know, we need them for balance, right? I feel as though this article is trying to put my mind at ease and if let me know that I could toe? survive without my pinky toe. I didn't know that was a fear I was supposed to have. I didn't know I was supposed to be worried about that. You should be uh, worried about all parts of your body being lost. Yeah, but specifically the pinky toe, it wasn't but at the forefront of my it's mind. It's not that bad if you lose it because it's not actually central to keeping your balance. Oh, well, thank God. Well, we needed it more when we were primates. Uh, oops, sorry, creationists who watch the show, which is none. Yeah. Um, because we don't climb trees, we don't. I still climb trees. We don't need to climb trees. Um, Debatable. Yeah. So the reason, the what you really need for your balance is not your toes. It's your metatarsals. There are bones that connect your toes to your midfoot. You have five, one for each toe. If you lose that, you're fucked. But you can do without the toe. We walk kind of like as as tripods per se with. Uh, pressure on the, the metatarsal by your big foot, the metatar big toe, the metatarsal by your big toe, the metatarsal by your small toe, and your heel. And those are, that, those are what you need for balance. So if you want to, I don't know, ski jump over a shark, you could do it. And your toe, if you lose it, it's fine.